I'm Jim Beltoff and I'm a professor in the Department of Biological Sciences and I'm, I'm project director or principal investigator on a, an NSF sponsored project called a, a Research Experience Experiences for Undergraduate Site and our project is focused on, on raptor research and so this project has brought um, eight students to Boise State this summer to get some experience working on raptors and research focused on raptors. These are two of those students. One of them is Skye and she has traveled from upstate New York. And the other one is Sarah and she's one of our Boise State students. And so they are getting trained on how to do some research on burrowing owls. And so students are coming to Boise State to learn how to be undergraduate researchers, getting mentoring from a faculty member and then they'll have um, the opportunity to present the research projects that they're working on this summer at our um, undergraduate research conference, which will occur later on in the summer um, in the student union building. So the two students are, are learning how to hold the burrowing owls, how to band them, how to make measurements such as the tail measurement. So we're teaching Sarah how to measure the, the size of the bill and it's just a general measurement for how large the bird might be. We have a lot of cameras placed on the nest, nest cameras that are taking motion activated pictures and we're interested in what kind of aerial predators like hawks and falcons prey on burrowing owls and then what kind of ground dwelling predators like badgers, coyotes, foxes potentially, weasels and things like that come and prey on, on the burrowing owls or their nests. The owls will use what we call natural burrows or these artificial burrows that we have put in the ground. The way we access them is we dig down to the cover of the artificial burrow and we can remove that cover and then I can see a bird in here and so I'm going to capture that bird. This is a nestling burrowing owl. It's a little over four weeks of age. It's starting to look like an adult burrowing owl from the standpoint of it's getting an owl face, it's getting bright yellow eyes, which adults have. I know it's a nestling because its breast is buffy and lacks streaks. And, it, and that's one of the vocalizations that, that young burrowing owls have, and, and it's thought that that vocalization mimics a rattlesnake, and, and so it's called the rattle or hiss call of a burrowing owl. This is an adult burrowing owl. Um, we just captured him with a trap at, at a burrow and he responded to some vocalizations that, that we put um, near the burrow, played through an MP3 player and portable speakers. We can tell that he's an adult because he has adult plumage and that adult plumage has streaks on the breast as well as brown and tan on the back. and then and then fully yellow eyes. When we ban nestling burrowing owls, a lot of times their, their eyes are not as pigmented yellow and they tend to get brighter yellow as the nestlings age. But we'll put an aluminum leg band on them as well as some plastic color bands that will allow us to identify them should we see them in the study area again or perhaps someone in, in California or elsewhere where these birds winter might sight them on the wintering grounds and then we can have some information about their movement patterns.